Hi, Daybreak. You know, this week we have had a very unprecedented time, time I don't remember in my lifetime, in the way um, our world and our government has had to respond to the COVID-19 crisis. And uh, as a church, our heart is to really respond in a compassionate and Christ-like way to prevent the spread of COVID-19, especially for the sake of those who are in higher risk categories where they're just, their defenses aren't as strong. And maybe you heard Tom Wolf, our governor, yesterday announced that uh, groups larger than 250 people, uh, he was encouraging them not to meet. And uh, we were thinking about that and, and the size of our church family and the environments that we're in. And really what he was saying is I'm encouraging larger groups of any size to really not meet so that we can kind of halt, uh, do our part in a compassionate response to this uh, pandemic and to halt the spread of this disease. So after a lot of prayer and after a lot of consulting with other churches and listening to what uh, our government leaders were, were telling us, uh, we decided that it would be best for daybreak for the next couple of weeks to not gather together uh, in our public worship services here at our worship centers or at either worship center uh, for worship. Instead, for the next two weeks, we've chosen uh, to gather together as a spiritual family online where we'll be able to experience the worship service together. Pastor Sean and I are going to co-preach uh, together. We've got to do that for so long. <laughs> yeah, we're looking it's forward to it. Uh, but we're going to preach together. Uh, we're going to look forward to a, a time of worship together online. Um, we'd encourage you to tune into that this Sunday. We're going to do that at 1030. And uh, you can read all the details about that together. But we want to invite you to join us in that uh, time of worship together as, as a family. We're also going to have a little change in the way we do our kids programming, because obviously that would have been on Sunday morning as well as our student programming on Sunday night. And if you're a parent, you can uh, look for uh, uh, kind of next steps for that with Pastor Kyle and Pastor Ryan that will be coming to you later today. You know, Sean mentioned this is a very uncertain time for a lot of people. A lot of people have fears about a lot of different things. And uh, what we don't want to do in this season is have you hear us saying that we're abandoning our mission or our purpose because what better time than now for us to be a family on mission together. There is no better time for the church to rise up and say, hey, we're, we're still following through with who God has called us to be uh, as his sons and daughters, but also for the mission that he's given us in this world. So we want to be poised and ready for that in the best ways that we possibly can. So uh, we're going to continue to encourage you at this point to meet in small groups, to meet in smaller gatherings, uh, that we'll continue to come together and be the church until uh, we would hear otherwise, that that wouldn't be able to happen. We're going to continue to say, let's be God's family together. Let's continue in, gr in small groups and in ministry together in any way that God opens the door for us to do that in this time. Yeah, we'll do our best to keep you updated on all of that. Um, you know, I, I think about this, this crisis and the, all the conversations that I've had this week with people as they've been processing all of this uncertainty. And I think there's something, a danger beyond just COVID-19, just our physical danger, and that's fear. Um, fear is this response that God gives us, a natural response, a gift to us to escape physical danger, but living in constant fear, hmm. the constant, like just renewing of it, and it's debilitating. Hmm. And um, it's dangerous. It's destructive. It breaks down. It breaks down the gift that God gives us as community. Mm. And uh, so, interestingly enough, that's the subject that God's already put on our docket mm -hmm. to talk about this weekend. And so, Pastor Rick and I are excited to talk to you more about that because, as the Apostle Paul reminds us, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of a sound mind, and of love. And that's, that's what we want for mm -hmm. all of you to, to join us in that, to say, God, will you give us a whole new spirit? Will you help us to understand how the gospel changes that for all of us? And so we just want to leave you with the words of Jesus today. Um, as he was getting ready to, to enter into his own crisis, mm -hmm. he said to his closest friends and followers, my peace I leave you with. Mm -hmm. Not the peace the world offers. I offer you a different kind of peace. So do mm -hmm. not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. What an opportunity we have in this time, as Pastor Rick said, mm. to be a family on mission. That's right. To offer hope and a spiritual reality, um, to offer real change to a world who's frozen in fear. So we want to encourage you, 
Would you discern with us how God's at work in you and in your family and in those around you? And let's continue to join God in his work in this season. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus together as a church family. We'll see you on the weekend online.